John Park, and here we are live in John Park's workshop. Sorry, let me get some audio levels. That's a little crunchy. Didn't mean to blow your earballs out there. Earballs. Didn't mean to blow your earballs out. Hello, it's me, John Park, and you're here for John Park's workshop. Welcome, uh, Todd Bot. Thank you. I I appreciate it. Todd Bot says nice beats. Uh, hey, everyone over in Discord and uh, YouTube chat. Where'd my YouTube chat go? It disappeared. Hey, there you are. Hey, stuff with Kirby. We've got audio and video now. Uh, there was a question. Let's take a question. First thing off, right? There was a question in the chat, and what, where to go? There was Arduino Uno Seventeen is the username in Discord. It says, "Do you know what would be an interesting project?" Is that a leading question? Do you have a project in mind? Let us know. Uh, yeah, I, I'll tell you. I know what I think is an interesting project today, and that involves a an expressive MIDI controller. So we'll get to that. Uh, hey, Dastels. Hola, Yasmin Jimenez from Venezuela. We have an international audience here today. That's excellent and exciting. Uh, all right, well, let's get to it. Uh, first of all, I wanted to give a little brief plug for our job board. We have a help wanted sign up, and there it is. Uh, that will get you all sorts of interesting uh job postings and uh, people recruiting or looking for help, uh, as well as a place for you to uh, show your resume and let people know what kind of good stuff you are up to. Uh, so head to jobs.adafruit.com. It is a free, entirely free job board. Uh, there's lots of great postings on there, interesting stuff. I saw some uh, jobs at 
Little Bits, some jobs at Bantam Tools, DigiKey, uh, all kinds of great employers looking to hire people either full-time or on contract bases. Uh, and we've got uh, people like Dave Estelles, who are uh, makers, who've put up a, a, a job resume there and said, hey, hire me for some work. So you will find some cool things at jobs.adafruit.com. So please check it out. Uh, then what's this? Why do I have this here? What is? What am I showing there? Oh, that, that I'm going to show you later. I guess it's a browser page. I can't launch or it'll do stuff. Uh, but you know what? What we can do, we can jump straight into the coupon code of the week. Hey, Pat Dooley 50, first time catching me live. Right on. I'm glad you're here for this because it's different live. Feels different. Uh, Mod Wheel, M-O-D-W-H-E-L-L. Mod Wheel is the coupon code this week for the day. In fact, until midnight tonight, Eastern Standard Time, that's going to get you 10% off in the Adafruit store on all kinds of good Adafruit electronics, uh, tools, and uh, pretty much anything you can imagine or want for your electronics hobby. Uh, with the exception of software, gift, su gift subscriptions, gift certificates, gift certificates and subscriptions. That's the hardest that has ever been. I think it's the pressure of Pat Dooley being here to watch live. I'm like freaking out. Um, Mod Wheel, you're the Mod Wheel squad. I get that, C. Grover. Hello, C. Grover. Uh, I hope my audio levels are a little better. We always have a nice... Uh, uh, audio check by C. Grover, who's running some, uh, some software to check the values, the, uh, the peaks and the averages on our audio. Uh, and yeah, so that's our, that's our coupon code. So if you want to go uh, to the store and check out some stuff, use that coupon code. Um, and Mod Wheel has to do with our project this week, has to do with a MIDI controller thing, if you're wondering, but we'll get to that. Uh, in the meantime, let's talk about the product of the week. And this week's product of the week is this cool little gizmo here, which is the Cricut from Microbit. Uh, if you are familiar with Microbit, and I think a lot of you are, this is an incredible little controller uh, that allows you to program in uh, CircuitPython and with MakeCode. Uh, there may be other things. I always forget this. I don't use it a lot. Um, but it's cool board. It's actually got some similarities to our Circuit Playground Express in the sense that it's a board that's easy to program that has a ton of sensors and things packed onto it, but it also has uh, its own unique, they both have their own unique strengths. Uh, this one does have capacitive touch down at the bottom. It's got nice big uh, holes for clipping in alligator clips. It's got a couple buttons. It has this really nice LED matrix here. It's like an eight by eight, I think. Yeah, eight, no, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six by one, two, three, four, five. Six by six. One, two, three, four, five. Five by Five. I can count. It's five by five. I'm going to hold it up there and someone tell me how many LEDs are on there. I think that's five by five. Uh, MicroPython. Thank you. Not CircuitPython, but MicroPython. Um, and, all right, I'm going to touch this audio level a little bit. I think, you know what? I dusted. I dusted my mixer. And I bet I twiddled some knobs on there. Uh, what do you mean you see three lights? Uh, anyway, there's lots of LEDs. Destels is messing with me. It's five by five. Uh, this also has a Bluetooth radio on it, which is very cool. It pairs really easily, so you can do communications between micro bits. And enough about that. Let's talk about this. This is the product of the week, which is our Cricut for micro bits. So now you can plug your micro bit with this cool edge connector style connection in, and then you can use the micro bit to control uh, the or talk to the Cricut chip to do all kinds of heavy-duty things like turning motors, turning servos, uh, driving solenoid, solenoids and magnets. Uh, we have a speaker built on there, uh, or a little amplifier, I should say, that you can plug a speaker into. Uh, it has a NeoPixel output on it. It's got like four servo uh, uh, plugs for you to plug servos directly into. So it's a super, super cool board. And uh, just like all of our crickets, it has some brains on it driving the thing. And we've seen our Circuit Playground Express crickets. We've got Feather Cricket. We have this Microbit Cricket. And now we also have a uh, Cricket hat coming for Raspberry Pi. So stay tuned. But that is the product of the week. Very cool little uh, add-on for your Microbit. Um, all right. So let's see. How are we doing? Let's, t let's take a little... Uh, little check in the chats. Um, 
Yeah, you can make code on the micro bit for sure. I haven't done that more than a couple times because I just am always uh, doing Circuit Playground Express stuff in make code, but I imagine it's a very, very similar um, experience even as you get in deep. And I think they've just done an overhaul. They're, they're, they're uh, overhauling uh, some of the micro bit specific make code, I think, to bring it more in line with the Circuit Playground Express stuff. So even easier if you've used them both. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. People doing good in the chats. You know what? I think it is time for a delicious sip of water. And then this. Yeah, that's right. It's the Make Code Minute. Uh, so let me throw on a couple of make, co uh, make codes, a couple of Circuit Playground Expresses. And what I want to talk to you about today on the Make Code Minute is communicating between Circuit Playground Express boards using infrared. Uh, so if you take a look here in my Make Code session, uh, I've got just a very simple uh, sketch running where I have a button click input for A and a button click inf input for B. And both of those do a similar thing, which is they use this infrared send number block. And you'll find this over here in the network block. If you're wondering where infrared is, it's in network. So this infrared send, and I'm sending a 1 when I hit A, and I'm sending a 2 when I hit B. Now, on the receiving side, I have this receiving block. It says on infrared received num, and that is the variable that it casts this incoming uh, message, this this. Uh, piece of data that comes from the infrared message. Uh, and what we're doing when we receive a number is I'm going to blank the LEDs by setting them all to black. And then I'm going to set a pixel color at whichever number value came in. And we have the 10 NeoPixel ring, so uh, pixel 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. So if 1 is the number coming through, then NeoPixel 1 is going to light up red. If 2 is the number that comes through, then NeoPixel 2 lights up red. So let's have a little demo here. Uh, you can see I've got actually the same program running on both of these. And on my sending board, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to hold it up here so you can see it. And then I'm going to send by clicking the buttons. You can see that red LED is changing positions on the Circuit Playground Express as it receives infrared messages. It's that simple. That is how you send infrared messages between Circuit Playground Express boards using MakeCode. <laughs>